This was such a good problem. Thank you for sharing it with me. I, I am going to start this problem by making sure I understand the problem. To understand the problem, I'm going to take a few notes. So what I have here from the problem is that LaTanya buys five yards of blue fabric and she buys eight yards of green fabric. I also know that the blue costs two more dollars per yard than the green fabric. That's an important piece to note as I'm understanding the problem because when I go to let when I go to write variables, I'm going to have to start with the green in order to get the blue for the price. So uh, because this blue fabric is being, dis the price of the blue fabric is being described with the price of the green fabric, I know that I have to start with knowing what the green fabric costs. So I'm going to let G represent the cost of one yard of green fabric. And if the blue fabric is two more, then the cost of one yard of blue fabric will be G plus two. Now, if she pays a total, then that means the cost for the five yards of blue added to the cost of uh, eight yards of green has to add up to $62. The last thing I want to do with understanding this problem is make sure that I understand what the problem's asking. Notice that at the end, I want to find the combined cost of one yard of green added to one yard of blue. So at the very end, I want to make sure I answer that problem or answer that question correctly. Now, uh, the next step is to devise a plan. The plan I'm going to suggest is writing equation. This equation here, the total is the cost for five yards plus the cost for eight yards. And then I'm going to solve that, prob that equation and then look back by answering the question. So if the total is $62 for eight yards of green fabric and five yards of blue fabric, I'm going to let G represent the cost per yard of the green fabric. G plus two will be the cost per yard of the blue fabric. So we have 62 equals 8G plus five times G plus two. When I solve this equation, I've got to multiply the five yards times the cost of the green plus 10, because I've got to distribute this five, right? So five G plus five times two is 10. Let me make that more clear that that's a G and not a 6. Uh, I could then use my algebra to add 8G plus 5G. And I could subtract 10 from both sides. So I have 52 equals 13G. I'm going to divide both sides by 13. And that would give me 
that g equals 4. I'm not done yet because if g is 4, then I need to know that blue, the cost for blue is 4 plus 2, or 6. And then when I go to the final answer, what's the combined cost? The combined cost for, uh, you know, let me write it like this. In other words, I'm needing to find this sum, g plus g plus 2. So 4 plus 6 equals 10. So it looks like the final right answer here is going to be 10. I hope that's the answer you expected also. I can look back by checking that, uh, that this fits in the equation. So I could go back to the $62 is 8 times 4 plus uh, 5 times 6. And I'd find that, yes, that does in fact add up correctly to 62.